Jay Hiff, Stretford Paddock, Manchester United 3, Liverpool 2. Joining me is the infamous Andy Tate. Andy, <laughs> sum up how you're feeling after that one, mate. A much needed win against a big top six team. And win. <laughs> a big shot. Well, the champions, actually, as much as it pains me to say it, the yeah. champions. A game we, which we, I say, it had it all as a cup tie, but we can draw from this now today. And we can use it maybe to spur us on to do better things in the league and advance in the FA Cup as well. And you know, now we've got a winning mentality against one of the top six. No, you're right. I mean, obviously, as you said, it's an FA Cup game, but they are the champions. They are a, a team that, you know, have, have been pretty dominant over the last two years in terms of the performances and the, the amount of wins they've got in, in different competitions as well. What do you think was the main difference today between this United side that we saw against Liverpool and, and the way we went about our business and the one we saw last week? Because me and you were on the watch on last week and it was pretty, for large parts of the game, it was pretty boring. Tonight, as you said, it was like, you know, a completely different game. And more, well, it is. I'm saying, it, <laughs> it was, it was more attack minded from the lineup. So you could see um, what United did. Both mistake, mistakes, for, all the goals were made were from mistakes. I mean, we hit them twice on the counter. And our mistakes will let them in as well. So it, it had everything. Like You could even see when the Liverpool equalised. Klopp brought a man. He wanted it. He wanted, he wanted to win it as well, as much as we did. And bringing on um, Bruno Fernandes was the was the game changer, but the defensive, the defense is still a concern. Them them goals pre preventable. Yeah, you were you, obviously me and you were doing a watch along, and you were getting a little bit annoyed at, at Harry Maguire. But I mean, you know, you could have looked at Luke Shaw, you can maybe look at Victor Lindelof for them. Even Dean Henderson at times. I know I blame him for the goals, but there was times when he, he he's uh, he could have held onto the ball a little bit. What do you think it is defensively? Because it's almost like we have this collective thing where it's not just one player defensively. Or I think you can almost point the finger at several. I think other than Aaron Bamba Saka yeah, yeah. played quite I'm well. Like, what, what previous, you guys? I don't know. Maybe it's it's been you got you you got to be switched on for the full ninety minutes. I mean, was it previous match? Wan Saka was making mistakes. Today it was Ari Maguire. Last game, Ari Maguire, Maguire was playing really good at Anfield. Lindelof today he played well last week at Anfield. So it's. Um, scrutinised whenever you come on the pitch and you, the pressure's on you. Luke Shaw played well last week. He played half and half today, mistakes. So it, at def defensively, we can be good and defensively we can be bad. Any team can have mistakes in the locker. And we've seen that with Liverpool today as well because we hit them on the counter. And to be fair, our goals were really good counter-attack-wise. With Rashford to Mason and Mason to Rashford and uh, make a song out of that if you want. You know what I mean? I'm what sure there'll be a Stratford End song. <laughs> when we're all back in there. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that. We were talking before the game and you were saying about like, Marcus Rashford and Mason Green was you putting those two players out or you thought could cause problems and they did. What did you make of those two today? Because you mentioned that, you know, it was Marcus to Mason and Mason to, to Marcus. What did you make of all their performances? I thought they were really good. They played yeah. well. Um, Mason needed that goal. He really needed that goal. And um, it will only bring him more conf confidence now with the games coming thick and fast. We've got, got a big week coming up in the league as well. And Rashford, touch wood, he's OK. Um, coming into, uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's just a, a knock or a little niggle. It's like yeah, everyone can bang their knee, can't they? And you wobble for a few hours and it, you walk it off. Yeah, a bit of a sore knee. Hopefully, like you said, it won't be too serious. It was a, I think it was an impact injury with the, the mm. ball. Was it the hoardings or something? I'm not sure. We'll find out more. Like, I think he's going to have a scan um, on Monday. What does that do? You know, you kept talking about during the game about belief and confidence and, and sort of, you know, you mentioned there, obviously, this isn't a league game, but we are flying high in the league. Do you think that this can give us a confidence boost or a bit of belief, not just in the FA Cup where we're through the next round and have every chance of winning it, but also in the league as well? Because you just beat beaten, as you point out, the Premier League champions. Yeah, because because if you look at our performances against the big six at Old Trafford this season, we've, we lost to Tottenham, not beating Chelsea. We lost to Arsenal. We drew with City. So it, it's, it's, this, is, this is a big psychological boost. Shot in the arm, like I say, uh, vaccine, what we need. <laughs> so, yes. uh, you know, you can't, we, we need it, we need it. And, it. and this can only do us well for the going forward for the rest of the season. The players will draw from this. I mean, I mean, psychologically, Liverpool are on the ropes now. They're like a boxer. 
Like, like McGregor last night. Finish him. Finish him. You know what I mean? We can finish these. Put them, they'll, they'll be come, come next week. They could just be fighting for top four, let alone the bloody league. Mate, imagine, imagine that. Imagine eh? that. Wasn't that Next long ago? Next time we play, they play. They, they play Thursday, and yeah. we've got a big game Wednesday with Sheffield United. And I think some changes will be made again. Maybe like maybe Rashford might get a, a rest this week because we've got uh, we got we're going down to uh, the Emirates next Saturday as well. So big week coming up. Games come thick and fast, man. Um, just finally, Andy, you know you've been here before, where it looked like we turned the corner. It looked like we were gonna you know kick on, and it hasn't happened. Where do you stand as a fan now? Do you start to think yourself this is something special here happening under Ali, or do you still have that little bit of? Sort of the semi apprehension the where, you get, you, where you're the like, the let's se wait and see. The semi final against City still gives me that doubt, right? Okay, because we're because that, that really ground me. It really half an hour to go, you one nil down against the big rival, your Manchester rivals. And but today we did it. This was Liverpool, this is the one. And I, I just, I, I, I know we'll, it's possible we'll, we'll get beat again this season. No doubt about it. I mean, you could you could look, you could win the league with with four or five defeats, six even. Yeah. Because if old you look school, at it, old school, yeah. old school, old school, up to seven games. Because you look at it, and even down to West Ham, let like say can still win the league. I know it sounds silly, but like you say you, anyone can challenge for that league at the moment. It's a wide open season. I mean, I don't write off Leicester, I don't write off Liverpool still, but. Anyone can win. It's about six, seven teams up to seventh place. That's could still win this league. So go game by game. I've seen this all before. So um, in the running, I'll, if, if it's ten games to go and we're a point, two points are going uh, ahead, then we can talk. You're not not quite saying yet. This is it. We're going to win the league just yet. We're waiting for that. Wait. Give it like towards the end of the season. Yeah, you're saying like ten games. And then we'll Ten see. games will talk. Right, ten games will talk. <laughs> Happy days here. Manchester United through to the next round of the FA Cup. Who have we got in the next round? West Ham. West Ham. Moise. Oh, uh, Moise. Oh, yeah, Moise. The ret the ret sorry to say again. Potential. It's Moise. <laughs> <laughs> it's Moise. That's Andy Tate. You know you can check him out. Go and find him. He's not on Twitter. He's on Instagram, aren't you? Yeah. So go and find him over there doing his funny videos and all his post-match reaction as well. If you're not doing so already, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and check out the member section as well. I've been Jay Motty. This has been Stratford Paddock. Thanks for watching.